Right, so in this video we're going to look at another one of these vector problems where we have to find, in this case, the distance from a point to a plane which is given to us in some form. Okay, so if you see the problem here, we've been given a point B equals 1, 0, 2 and we've been given a plane and in this case it's been described to us using an algebraic equation, or the general equation for the plane. Right, so before we can do this, let's just sketch ourselves a picture so that we can see what the geometry of the situation is and then we can figure out, figure out how to tackle it with the vectors and the, the information that we've been given. Okay, so we have a plane, this is our plane, we don't need to draw it accurately, just need a representation of it, and we've been given a point out in space that we want to know the distance from it to the plane. So effectively, we want to know this distance from this point B down to our plane. That's at right angles there. Now, the easiest way to tackle one of these problems is to take your plane in point normal form. Okay, so let's just for the time being assume that we know a point on the plane. We don't yet. We'll be able to find one, but we don't yet know it. So if we draw a point, and if we also from our point draw a normal vector and it's going to go up like this here it is then we can see that this distance to the plane from B is kind of lined up in the same direction as our normal vector so if I just add on a couple more vectors we're going to have a vector from A to B and let's just call it V we'll figure out what that is soon if you just think, squint your eyes a wee bit and think about it, you can see that if we project this vector onto here, let's go red, okay, so we have a right angle here, then can you see that this vector that I've just drawn is the same length as this dotted red line down to the plane from the point B. So all we really have to do is take this vector V, project it onto the normal, and then measure its length. Okay, so this vector here, the red one, is the projection onto the normal of the vector V. And the distance we want is just going to be the length of this vector is the length of the projection onto n of v. Okay, so first thing we need to do is actually figure out um, how to turn our equation of a plane into point normal form. So first, convert to point normal form. Okay, so our equation is x plus y minus z equals 1. Okay, now the easy bit is to pull out the normal. The normal, you just construct it by plucking out the coefficients from in front of x, y, and z. So we've talked about this in class, so it's, you can imagine this is a 1x plus a 1y minus a 1z. So our normal vector is just going to be 1, 1, negative 1. Okay, and next thing we have to do is to find a point on the plane, and let's go for a simple one. So a plane has basically two degrees of freedom. So what we'll do is we'll just choose a, let's say we'll choose an x and a y value, and then we'll find out what z has to be equal to. So to find a point, we'll choose x equals zero, and y equals 0. Always try and get the easiest thing you can think of. And what this gives us, if we substitute it into our equation, is negative z equals 1, which means z equals negative 1. So our point, p, is just going to be 0. We chose that. 0 for y, we chose that too. And z is going to be negative 1. Okay, now we're in business. So 
Next thing we need to do, we've converted our plane to point normal form. So just to remind you, the equation would be n dot x minus p equals zero. And if you plugged those n and p's in, you should get back to this general equation. The next thing we need to do is to figure out what this vector v is. We've got n, we've got p, which is the thing labeled a in our picture. So v is just going to be b minus the point a, which we've called p. So the point b expressed as, a, as expressed as a vector from the origin is the vector 1, 0, 2. p is 0, 0, 0, minus 1. So that gives us that v is going to be equal to 1, 0, and 2 minus negative 1 is plus 1, 1, 0, 3. Okay, next thing we need to figure out is this projection. So the projection onto n of v is equal to n dot v over length of n all squared, all times n. Now let's put the pieces in. n dot v, well that will be 1, 1, negative 1 dot v is uh, 1, 0, 3 all divided by the length of n squared. So that's 1 squared plus 1 squared plus negative 1 squared. Then all times n, which is 1, 1, minus 1. OK, and that is going to equal, first order the dot product. So 1 times 1 is 1, minus 3 is negative 2. On the top there, on the bottom we've got 3. So it's negative two thirds, one, one, negative one. Okay, so last step is to find our distance. So the length of this is going to equal, remember we've got a scalar in front, we can take the absolute value of that outside times the length of this vector. Equals 2 thirds times the length of that, which is square root of 1 squared plus 1 squared plus negative 1 squared, which finally is equal to 2 over 3 root 3 and then we can simplify that slightly to be equal to 2 over square root of 3. And that's that.